Hello and welcome to Enjoy English. I'm Stevie, and I'm Hetty. And today we are looking at our on-air English lesson. We're talking about borrowing a book. Now, this is not borrowing a book from a friend. This is borrowing a book from a library. So we're going to learn a little, a few terms about libraries and borrowing books, things like that. Hmm. So we're today talking about borrowing a book. So we're today talking about borrowing a book. 所以，我们今天讲说，在图书馆里面借书要有办一些什么样的手续？就是我们今天要教大家在图书馆里面借书会用到的一些很实用的英文会话。So let's have a look at our article. The dialogue, 情境对话。Hi there, I'd like to check out this book. Certainly. Do you have a library card? Not yet. What do I have to do to get one? All you have to do. Just fill out this form with your personal information, and give me your identification card. Hi again. Here's the completed form and my ID. Now what do I have to do? Oh, if you wait right here, it'll only take me a second to enter your information into the system and make a copy of your ID. After that, your new library card will be ready for use. That's great. I really can't wait to start reading this book. The explanation, 内文讲解 Okay, we start out today with Marcy. Now, Marcy has brought her selection to the checkout counter at the library. So, when we are talking about the word selection, that's one of our words and phrases today. Uh, we're talking about the choices you have made. Uh, as to select something, that would be the verb, means to choose something. So, take your selection to the checkout counter at the library means to take the things that you have chosen.、Uh, it could be your books.、Uh, it could be clothing.、Uh, one of our sample sentences for selection: They have a wide, ver- a wide selection of clothes at that store. Meaning they have a wide variety. They have a a big choice of things. So whenever you see select or selection, you know it has to do with some sort of choice, something that you have chosen that you've picked out. Hmm. Okay. So selection 就是选择的名词。那刚刚我们的例句意思说，那一家商店里面有各式各样的衣服可以供你来选择。刚刚 Stevie 讲到一个重点，就是其实 selection 它是一个名词，一个像有点类似集合名词，它是你选择的，不管有几样，一样、两样、三样都是一样。那个选择的东西，它就是一个 selection。Yeah。但是我们刚刚讲到 select 是所谓的动词。嗯哼，嗯哼。So how about some examples about select? Uh, for select, you could. There's a lot of ways you could use this.、Uh, for instance, if you're in a bakery, and they have lots of you know cakes or pies or cookies, and somebody says you can choose one thing, choose whatever you like. So you can select what you like,、uh, or maybe if you won a big prize, they say, "Hey, you won a new car. You can select one of these five cars." You can choose one. You can select one. Hmm. Okay. So, choose select is just like choose. Yeah. 只是它再正式一点。我们通常都是口语上比较多用 choose.、Yep. Select 比较少，但是还是要学起来。Yeah. So, select is kind of the more formal usage. Hmm. 比较正式的用法。Yeah. Now, there is one word that I've had a friend here ask me.、Uh, selection. They asked me if that is the same as election. Now, election. You take the s off. It looks the same. Now, what would election be in Chinese? 选举 So, if you think about it, selection is 选择 right? Right. And election means to choose somebody. So they sound a little bit similar, and maybe this will help you remember.、Mm. So, to a selection is a choice. An election is when you choose 
a person to represent you. Right. So it's just election, E L E C T I O N,、mm-hmm. 就是所谓的选举的意思。其实跟 selection 的拼法有一点类似。其实他们的意思呢，你这样去记好了。Election， 我们讲的是选举。选举的过程当中，你要选择你喜欢的那个候选人，选择的一个过程、yeah. 叫做 selection, select. Yeah. 对，所以这样可以帮助你记忆，就是 selection, election. 其实他们是有一些关联，拼法有点类似。Yep. Uh, now, back to the sentence.、Uh, Marcy has brought. She took her selection to the checkout counter at the library. Now we say when you borrow a book from a library, we check it out. That means you sign your name, you take it out, you check it out. So we call it the checkout counter. Okay. 我们在台湾借书的时候，最后我们会到所谓的那个柜台去做一个登记。我们今天这样翻说 check out counter， 在图书馆里面，我们讲的是一个所谓的借书柜台。嗯、mm-hmm. 嗯。So moving on to the next sentence, we have Marcy. She goes up to the librarian. Now the librarian is the person who works in the library. We call them that person. It doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Okay. They are called the librarian. So she goes up to the librarian and she's very polite. She says, "Hi there." I'd like to check out this book. Now, if you check out our tips and use here in a few moments, you can learn more usages and learn a little bit more about check out.、Uh, but we are going to be checking out things, and today she is checking out this book. So she has one book, this book. Hmm. So today we're talking about the key word librarian. librarian. 就是所谓的人，呃，在图书馆里面工作的人，不管他是男是女，我们都讲说是 librarian，、mm-hmm. 就是所谓的图书馆的工作人员。那 Marcy 跟他讲说，他要怎么样？他要 check out this book， check out， 就我们刚才已经讲说，呃，到借要借这本书，所以 check out 就他要登记了，我要来借这本书，而且他只有借一本，因为他用 this this book， 他用单数，所以他讲说，他 hi there 只是一个嗯很亲切的一个招呼用法， mm-hmm. 就是 hi there， 就是 hey 你好，就说我要来借这本书。And the librarian says, "Certainly, you know, sure, no problem. Certainly, do you have a library card? Now, a library card is something that you apply for, and it just basically, whenever you want to check out a book, it's like a little library credit card.、Mm-hmm. I think everybody knows what a library card is." OK， 所以其实我们刚刚讲说 ，certainly 就是讲说，当然没有问题 ，sure 就是没有问题 ，OK。呃 ，Do you have a library card? Library card 就是所谓的呃图书借书证。其实我们现在走到哪里，几乎人手一张卡是很正常的事情。Yeah。不管你要借 DVD， 或是你要借书，或是借漫画，甚至呃借各式各样的东西，甚至还有学生证。证明你的身份。其实现在人皮开皮夹一打开，几乎都是一些卡，卡就代表你的身份，还有你的资格。Mm-hmm. 所以其实到图书馆里面借书很重要的，你一定要办一张借书证。Now, Marcy says, "Not yet. I don't have a library card yet. Not yet. What do I have to do to get one?" So. What do I have to do to get a library card? What do you need me to do? Hmm. He said, "Not yet. 还没有哎。那 What do I have to do? 我应该要怎么做呢 ？To get one. One 就是指的是 library card.、Mm-hmm. 就指的就是所谓的我要怎么样做才可以去办一张借书证呢 ？Now the librarian says, "All you have to do is fill out this form. Okay, to fill out something." Means to basically write in information. All right, so fill out this form. So you know that when she's saying it, she has a form she's giving to her、mm. because she says this form, like she's pointing at it. So fill out this form and fill it out with what? With your personal information. Whenever we say personal information, we are talking about your name, your address, your phone number, things like this. And give me your identification card. Now we don't hear identification card very often. Usually, people just say, "And give me your ID," or "Give me, I need two, two proof of ID." So maybe、uh, you know a driver's license 
and what they call in Taiwan your 身份证 or your ID card. 嗯 ，OK， 我们来看这一句里面有很多重点，这句子有点长。第一个重点的部分，我们看 fill out this form，、mm -hmm. form F O R M 指的是表格， yep. 它跟 from F R O M 从哪里来，那个是长得很像，念法有点不一样啊，意思完全不一样， different. 对，完全不一样哦。<笑>所以说 form 就指表格的意思。那我们讲说 fill out 就是指填写的这个动作，所以 fill out the form 就代表说填写表格。那我们今天讲说，在接下来我们讲说 personal information。Personal 指的是你个人的，因为 person 指的是人， mm -hmm. 所以 personal 它是一个形容词，它指就是你个人，就当你个人来说，你的一些呃、uh, information 就是所谓的资料。Yep. 那其实图书馆也不会叫你写多私人的东西，它可能就会叫你写一些电话、啊、地址，它不会问你什么感情状态啊，什么不会问你这些东西啦。但是呢，接下来我们讲到所谓的。Identification card. 刚刚 Stevie 讲到一个重点 ，identification 指的是什么？指的是所谓的身份证明的一个文件。Yep. 所以说 identif 呃、uh, identification 其实外国人不会讲这么长的一个单字。通常我们就讲 ID card， 就是所谓的身份证。Yeah. Okay. If you look at the sentence here, we have several words and phrases. Now, one of these words and phrases, we start out with fill out something. To fill out a blank, you know, to, means to write something in. So today we are filling out a form, and we use this a lot in in school, in work, you know, getting a credit card, anything like this. You'll have to fill out a form.、Uh, even at work, you'll have to fill out a request form if you want to take some time off. If you want to take a vacation, usually you have to fill out a form.、Mm. Even something simple like that. Right, so we say, actually, we just said fill out the blank. The blank is、mm、空 -hmm. 就是空白的地方。所以我们讲说填写，不管填填写这个动作，我们就是用 fill out。所以我们刚刚讲那个例句说，所谓的 take some time off 就是所谓的请假。我们常常在上课的时候，或是在上班的时候，我们都会做这样的动作。Yeah. 我们要请假怎么办？你要填一张申请的假单，就是这个东西。所以你如果想请假的话，就必须要先填好所谓的申请表格。Right. Okay, so talking about personal, personal means it has to do with yourself, one person. Okay, with you.、Uh, for instance, the actor never talks about his personal life. He doesn't like people to know about, you know, who he's dating and that. The media love to talk about things like that. But we say that is personal. I don't like to talk about it. 嗯，所以 personal 指的就是所谓个人的东西。那其实，在这个生活呃社会上，其实谁最注重所谓的私生活，其实就是差不多就是一些明星， yep. 对不对？因为所谓的八卦照杂志就很喜欢报他们的私生活。Mm -hmm. 所以，我们今天例句讲说，这个男演员他从来不谈论什么，从来不谈论他自己的 personal life， 自己的私生活。So who are you dating? 嗯、mm -hmm. ，secret. No, that's when you say, <笑> sorry, that's personal. 嗯、mm, ，OK. Yeah. Uh, and information, we put personal information together. Now, information is just、um, well, it's information. <laughs> it's details about something. So, information in Chinese is. Uh, 资料 Yeah. So,、uh, you know, personal information we talked about a little bit would be your name, your address, your phone number, things like this. Now,、uh, we could also we see this word a lot. Uh, maybe if you want to go traveling, and you want to go to Hawaii, okay, and they say, "Oh, it costs this much. It's great." And they say, "Here is a brochure. For more detailed information, please refer to the brochure." So, if you want to understand this more, if you want more information, please refer to or take a look at the brochure. And it will tell you all about it. Hmm. So this example, we have some things to talk about. For example, detail information. Detail is referring to what details. So if you want more information, you want more details. So if you want more information, you want more details. So if you want more information, you want more details. So if you want more information, you want more details. So if you want more information, you want more details. So if you want more information, you want more details. Brochure 就是指的是一本小手册，所以我们今天讲说，如果我们要知道更多的资讯，你就要来看一下这本小手册。Yeah, and of course we looked at the word identification, or we could just say ID.、Uh, for instance, the police, the police officer asked to see the driver's identification, so he pulled someone over and said, "Let me see your ID." 嗯 
，我们今天讲这个例句说的 police officer 他怎么样？这个警察呢 ask to 他要求、mm -hmm. see the driver's identification。Driver 就指的是驾驶，那 identification 就我们刚刚讲身份证明文件。Yeah， 他就叫你停车，要看你的一些身份证明文件。Yeah， so usually the police officer here will say, uh, let me see some ID. 嗯哼。Okay, uh, let me see some ID. And usually, of course, if you are driving, they're gonna say, let me see your driver's license.、Mm. Okay, because even if you have other ID. They want to know: Are you driving legally, right? So they're gonna. The first thing they're gonna say is, "Let me see your driver's license." All right. If you're driving, now if you're outside and you're maybe out running around, or the police are, you know, checking suspicious people, then the policeman would say,、uh, "Let me see some ID."、Mm. So it's you know, it depends on what you're doing, what they'll be asking you. ID or driver's license. Okay, so driver's license 就是所谓的驾照。Yeah. 常常常我们警察在临检的时候，最常车窗一摇下来，他一定讲驾照身份证，因为他要比对你的驾照跟你的身份证是不是同一个人，他要知道你呃是不是非法的开车。比如说你未满十八岁啊，或是你没有驾照啊，所以通常警察把你拦下来的时候，他不会只要一张证件，他会要还有你的身份证去做比对。Oh really? Hmm. Oh okay. In America, one is enough. Your driver's license is enough.、Oh, okay. So in the United States, actually, you just need a driver's license. Okay. So I learned something new.、Mm. Good. Uh, so uh, now we have our words and phrases for、uh, the, this first part. Now the librarian just asked for all of my、uh, Marcy's identification for her ID. So、uh, and she asked her to fill out a form. So Marcy. Takes the papers and moves away to fill it out. So Marcy's going to be back here in a second. We today talked about how Marcy has already filled out so many forms. She wants to buy this book, so she went to the checkout counter to do the checkout action. But after checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After checkout, she has to fill out the form. After check 重点解析。大家好，我是 Camille， 欢迎收看今天的 Tips in News。今天呢，我们来看第一个用法是 check out。Check out 呢，它本身有不同的意思，表示上图书馆借书的时候，你就可以使用这个片语。譬如说 ，I would like to check out this book。我想要借这本书。那如果你说从旅馆退房的时候，也可以使用 check out。例如说 ，What time do we have to check out of our hotel room？ 它的中文意思是我们什么时候该退房呢？那如果你希望别人来看看某一个新鲜或特别的东西的时候，你也可以用 check out。比如说 ，Hey， check this out， 就是 Hi， 来看看这个东西。那第二个呢，就是请别人等一下的说法。一般呢，我们都是使用动词 wait 这个字。譬如本文中的句子 ，If you wait right here， you only take me a second to。这以下的例句就表示，请稍后，请等一下。第一个 ，Please wait while I transfer your call。请等一下，我帮你转接电话。第二个 ，If you just hold on a second, I'll get the shoes in your size。请稍等一下，我会帮你拿适合你尺寸的鞋子。第三个 ，I'll be right back, so don't go anywhere。我马上回来，别走开。这样大家学起来了吗？以上就是 check out 跟英文中等一下的用法。那我们下次见喽，拜拜。The explanation， 内文讲解。Okay， so now Marcy has filled out the forms. She is all finished, and she returns. Marcy returns a couple of minutes later. So maybe there was more people waiting at the desk, so she didn't fill it out. At the checkout counter, she moved to the side or went somewhere, somewhere, somewhere else, and filled it out. So Marcy returns to the checkout counter a couple of minutes later. 嗯，所以说，其实呢，他并没有在那个 check out counter， 在那个借书柜台上填写这个表格， mm -hmm. 他是到别的地方去填写，所以他现在 return 就是所谓的回来。Yeah. Return a couple of minutes. A couple of 就是指一些。一些一个两个
之类的、mm-hmm. ，minutes 就是指几分钟之后 ，later 就是他之后又回到了这个 checkout counter。Yeah. Now Marcy says hi again. She's very friendly. Here's the completed form. She's saying here's the completed form, so we know she is handing it to the librarian. Okay. Here's the completed form and my ID. So here's the form that I filled out and completed, and here is my identification, my ID. 嗯，所以说 hi again 就是 hi， 我又回来了，又是我。他说 here's the completed， completed 就是所谓指形容词 ，complete 是动词，是完全的动词。Mm-hmm. 我们这边讲 completed 就是指所谓的完整的，已经被完成的东西。Completed、yeah. form 就是你刚刚要我填的表格，我已经把它完成了，所以这个是完成的表格，就是 completed form、mm-hmm.。And my ID 就是我的身份证明文件。Yeah. And completed is one of our words and phrases today. And as Hetty said, this is comes from the word complete. So if something is complete, it's whole. All right, it's complete. It's finished.、Uh, for instance, a lot of times, maybe if we're filling out something at home. Now, before the old-fashioned way, we always filled stuff out and mailed it. Right.、Mm-hmm. Uh, now a lot of people just fill something out online, or something like that. But sometimes,、uh, if you're at home, like if you want to get a new credit card or something, then they say, "Please send your completed form to the following address." In other words,、uh, fill out your form, complete it, and send it to the address. And we say the following address. That means the address that we wrote here. It's following what we are writing. 嗯，所以说我们今天这个例句讲说，将已经填好的表格寄往下面的地址。刚刚 Stevie 讲到一个重点，说其实这是已经比较属于 old school、比较传统的方式。Mm-hmm. 其实大部分现在我们填表格都是在线上 online， 就是直接在线上填。那除非只是有一些办信用卡啦，或者什么样的一些方式，我们才会需要用寄信的方式。但是我们今天的重点还是所谓的 completed form， 就是所谓的一个完整填好的一个表格。Yeah. 所以我们讲说，将已经填好的表格寄往下列的。Following 就是接下来的，接下来的 address， the following address， 接下来下面的这个地址。Mm-hmm. Right. So she says, now what do I have to do? Okay. Now that I filled this out, now what do I have to do? 她说，现在我已经把它呃，已经都写好了 ，fill out， 我都已经把它写好了。So now what do I have to do? 所以现在我应该做什么呢 ？Yep. And the librarian says. Uh, she says, "Well, if you wait right here, so wait right here, it'll only take me a second to enter your information into the system and make a copy of your ID. So if you wait right here,、uh, that's pretty simple.、Uh, actually, if you want to learn other uses of wait, maybe like wait a second, wait right here, things like this." You can check out our tips and use in just a moment,、uh, but right here she's saying, "Okay, stay here, hold on, wait for a moment. It'll only take me a second. In other words, it'll be very quick to enter your information. That means to put your information into the system, into the computer, and make a copy of your ID. Now, again, making a, a physical copy is kind of old school." Now they put it on a little scanner, and it's in the computer. 嗯，所以说 ，if you wait right here， 就说你在这里等一下 ，it only take me a second。我们这边讲说 a second， 并不是代表说真的几秒钟啦。Yeah。对你不要真的在那边计时，就是几秒钟快点。One, two, three. <笑>对，并不是这样子。A second 只是讲说很快的时间，就是几秒钟，很快。To enter your information, 我们会把你的个人资料呃、uh, into the system， 我们把它存进我们的系统里面去。System 指的就是系统。And make a copy of your ID， 就是说 a copy 就是指影印。Yeah. 我们刚刚讲说那是也是一个 old school， 就是比较传统的方式，会把你的身份证拿去做一张影印。但是现在差不多，呃，刚刚 Stevie 讲说，其实现在差不多会放上一个 scanner， 就是所谓的一些扫描机， yeah. 一扫可能就进去那个系统里面了，不需要去做一个 copy。Yeah. So do you know how how you say old school? Old school, uh, can we say 传统？传统 is like traditional， 老,老的方法
No, actually, we will say because chuanto means more like traditional. Mm -hmm. In this, now this is more slang, right? We would say 比较老套 Okay, 老套 Old school means 老套 I have good Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm right. I'm just kidding. Okay, so after that, the librarian is still talking. After I get a copy of your ID and enter your information,、uh, your new library card. Will be ready for use,、uh, so your new library card will be ready. You can use it, and in just a moment, we're going to actually go back and talk about enter again. Hmm. So after that, 就是指我把上面东西叭叭叭全部都做完之后 After that, 之后呢 your new library card, 你的一个新的所谓的借书证 will be ready for use. 你的那个借书证就可以准备好可以使用啦 Yeah. Now, after talking about all this, if you look in our sentence, we have the word "enter," and in this case, it means to enter. You can enter a room, meaning to go into a room, but because "enter" means to go in something, so when we enter something into the computer, that means you're putting information in the computer. So just like you enter a room, you also Enter information. 嗯，所以说我们今天讲说 enter 就是指动词，那它是讲说进入一个地方。可是我们今天讲的是登录、输入。我们在其实我们在键盘的那个电脑的键盘上，我会看到 enter 键，就指输入一些东西。其实我们中文也会讲输入什么东西， yeah. 就是 enter 嘛，你就按 enter 就可以输入一些东西。Mm-hmm. 所以其实你就可以这样子去记，其实 enter 就是输入电脑里的东西。Yeah. Uh, for instance, the trainer showed me how to enter the data into the computer. Hmm. So, so trainer 就是所谓的训练人员 Train 是指训练，所以 trainer 就是训练人员。职训的人员呢，他告诉你 show me， 他告诉我怎么做 how to enter the data。他告诉你说你要怎么样把数据来输入电脑里面。And Marcy says that's great. I really can't wait. To start reading this book, I can't wait. This is going to be exciting. I get a book. Okay, so so Marcy 真的很想要看这本书。他完成了所有的表格，他只为了看这本书。所以他现在告诉那个 librarian， 他告诉图书馆员说 ，That's great. 这太棒了。我真的，我现在就我已经等不及，想要赶快开始看这本书。Yeah, yes, she can't wait. Now you see, we're seeing the word wait here again.、Uh, wait a second. If you wait right here, I can't wait. I'm too excited, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Words and phrases, 单字片语 One selection. They have a wide selection of clothes at that store. Two, fill out a form. Fill out the form. You'll have to fill out a request form if you want to take some time off. Three, personal. The actor never talks about his personal life. Four, information. For more detailed information, please refer to the brochure. Five, identification. The police officer asked to see the driver's identification. Six completed. You need to send the completed document to this address. Seven enter. The trainer showed me how to enter the data into the computer. Extra words. Check out. The dialogue, 情境对话 Hi there. I'd like to check out this book. Certainly. Do you have a library card? Not yet. What do I have to do to get one? All you have to do is fill out this form with your personal information and give me your identification card. Hi again. Here is the completed form and my ID. Now what do I have to do? Oh, if you wait right here, it'll only take me a second to enter your information into the system and make a copy of your ID. After that, your new library card will be ready for use.
That's great. I really can't wait to start reading this book. Just for fun, 趣味英文 Mrs. Jones is correcting her class's English homework while the students read quietly. She gets to little Johnny's homework, and it's good—a little too good, in fact. It looks like Johnny might have had some help from one of his parents. She calls him up to her desk. Johnny, she begins. I'm going to ask you a question, and I expect an honest answer. Yes, ma'am," says Johnny. "Your homework looks suspicious. Did your father help you with it?" "No, ma'am," says Johnny. "Are you sure?" asks Mrs. Jones. "Yes, ma'am," says Johnny. "He didn't help me with it. He did it all by himself."